For, for both of you, Pharaoh, first, what kind of uh, spark or confidence does Lorenzo give you guys just his ability to make plays and how well he handled himself in his first start? Uh, it gives us a great spark. You know, he's just not just a little pocket pass or quarterback. You know, he's a dual threat quarterback, and uh, you know, that's what we expect from him. You know, when the play, uh, pass play is not there, you know, take off and run. And, you know, he does that very well. Um, you know, he's a great athlete back there. You know, he can uh, continue to get better, really. Pharaoh, tell us about what you saw in that um, touchdown run, I guess. The scramble? Yeah. Uh, you know, we had a little um, trick play on, design play. Safety rolled over top. It wasn't there. Um, so um, I'm, I'm usually supposed to throw it down to the deep guy. Safety rolled over, uh, tucked it in, ran. Cut through a couple linemen. I seen Lorenzo. He made a great block on one of the uh, DBs, I believe, and then it just went from there. It was, I mean, it's pretty much uh, – I mean, it's just a play I had to make when uh, something was something else wasn't there. Farrell, did you get down on yourself after you muffed that punt, and were you more determined than ever to make a winning play? Um, I mean, I got down a little bit. I mean, I'm not supposed to do that, and, and I already know that. You know, uh, the players and coaches know that's not uh, what type of player I am. So, I mean, after the punt, you know, maybe probably like 30 seconds after that, you know, I was over it, um, ready to play um, the next series. But, you know, um, I wasn't thinking on that play, and that's something I can't do. You know, looking more into the season, I have to be smarter than that, you know, and that was my fault. Jarrell, with a true freshman starting at quarterback, your third starting quarterback of the season and all, how much pressure did you and the receiving core put on yourselves to kind of make things easier on him? Uh all week doing practice, we'll be telling him to be ready. It's a big game coming up, coming off a loss against Georgia. Then tell him to be ready to prepare for the game. Farrell, what about that second touchdown catch that kind of put it away? Uh, just a uh, deep ball. Uh, I guess they was in, I guess what, they were three. I guess safety was back. Uh, Coach told Lorenzo to take his drops and throw it, and he threw it. You know, um, you know, it was pretty much double coverage. You know, I just had to go out there and make a play. That's what I did. Just had to high point the ball, come down with it. You know, I had to make up for the other mistakes I did earlier in the first half. And, you know, and so I had to make up for it, and, and that's when it, that's when we did it. And you know, at halftime, what's kind of your mindset? And then, you know, being a leader on this team, you've been here a while. What do you have to do to try to get the guys ready? You know, when you go into half after a half like you guys had. Uh, you know, just keep them, you know, keep them uh, motivated. You know, we always start off not too good in the first half. You know, the whole year we started off bad in the first half. So halftime, you know, we just trying to keep the boys focused. You know, we started off coming off running the ball. So, you know, we talked to the linemen a little bit, you know, get them going, get them running. And, you know, just to keep our heads up. You know, we always play better in the second half. We know that. So um, pretty much it just showed tonight. And, you know, we're going to continue to get better and, and try and score in the first half some more. Uh, Jarrell, it's, it seemed like uh, Lorenzo was finding you a lot early. Did, did you sort of feel like, like you could play the role of almost a safety blanket for, for kind of a younger QB making that first start? <laughs> uh, just a little bit, you know. You know, Nunez, he's a good player, a good athlete. You know, he, you know, find time to get us open, to get out of the wide receiver's time to get open, so he's a pretty good player. Pharaoh, you talked earlier about uh, Nunez's uh, athletic ability on the field. How about talking a bit about his poise and, and just kind of the grit he showed, especially in the second half when, as a young starter, he really could have kind of folded up with, with you guys trailing uh, in the second half? Yeah, he got more comfortable going into the um, second half, definitely. You know, the first play of the game, I think he threw like a – it was supposed to be an interception. So, you know, <laughs> he wasn't really uh, comf comfortable back there um, at first. You know, as the game kept going, as he started running, completing passes, you know, you know he always knows the team going to have his back. You know, I talk to him a lot on the sidelines, you know, tell him just relax. So, um, you know, he's, he, he's just young. You know, he's going to continue to grow, uh, be a good player, and um, he'll, he'll be ready. Uh, he'll be ready for next week for sure. Farrow, just how impressed were, were you with that block that he, that he threw to, to spring you on that touchdown run? Yeah, very impressed. You know, he ain't, he, he, he not, a, <laughs> he not a normal quarterback. You know, he, I mean, he's a quarterback, but he's not, you know, he's kind of different. You know, he's a dual threat. He's more like an athlete. So uh, I just came around and I seen him and, 
I didn't really see him throw the block until after the after I seen it on the big screen. I just knew he had blocked him. But when I saw it on the big screen, I was like, wow, you know, he actually blocked him. He stoned the guy, you know, and that's just be, part of being an athletic player that he is, you know, just make plays when you don't have the ball.